Bloyon at yahoo.com. That's B L O W Y O N at yahoo.com. You can check the books at lulu.com. Get in touch with me at Bloyon. Once again, that's Bloyon.com. Lulu.com, you'll search under author Glenn Wright. My freedom. I'm pressing my freedom. I'm pressing my freedom. My freedom. I'm pressing my freedom as far as I can. But not to enslave it, just to test it. Put it on the block. To bring it closer to divine power. No, I'm not looking for kara akara meaning. That would result in scandal. Above that where truth deals. The real dosage of responsibility. Where a man picks up his action. And owns up to having dared. And in daring. Dares to carry. A full load of consequences. But not foolish pain. Only true eye. For an eye justice. Unanswered silhouettes. Trying to survive. Fighting to secure the moment from disruptions. Fixing to battle. Frontal attack from rear, left, and right. Surrounded by enemy. Vulnerable to every sound. Open to the unanswered silhouettes. And unexplained movement. Search the night until the quest begins to pull together. The anxious hunger of the invader taking over the space, re-aiming the electrical foe. Holding fear, checking it, begin, initiate, take first step. Centered focus. What's taken me is real. Just about to happen. The here and now contains it. The task is to be prepared, disposed to quick alert, to forces that are out to subdue you. Look back in centered focus. Held together reactions. To their combative moves. Play the game without fear. Face invader without fear. Nor hesitation. Do not lose resolve. Put action forward. Repeat the moves that allow for spontaneous force. To make you strong. Look back and envision progression. Talk back in measured safety. Separation. Times jealousy begets envy. Times rejection begets insecurity. Times now begets times here and now. Times desiring other begets hard work. Times time begets more time all around. Look at the whole entirely. All holes are prized for their totality, their entirety. Thus, complete composition. Any missing part makes the object not whole. It makes a piece, no matter how little of its matter separates. Anguish exists. This one I like. For most of us out there who suffer from depressions and Stress from outside entities. Here goes one. Anguish exists to make pain bearable. I repeat, anguish exists to make pain bearable. Without it, there's inexhaustible despair and aimless travel between opposites that play to rule the mind and heart's emotion. No straight road. Just endless turns circling an unchanging place and time. An absolute sameness that paralyzes, leaving a world bared of actions. Stagnant, standing in a fruitless stasis. A suffering that dominates hope. A suffering that dominates hope. And that's what makes anguish basic. 
It is the ultimate horror, the moment at which the point zero provides empty nourishment. And that's it for today, guys. Each day I will post four or five in a video. Lulu.com, search under Glenn Wright, author. Excerpts, simple excerpts from my book, Life Affirming Poetry. You guys have a good day. And just know that people are alive, not just to be living. They're living to be alive. You guys be good. Bye for now.